hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to explain how to calculate equivalent resistance of the circuit so i am going to explain how to calculate equivalent resistance equivalent resistance of the circuit so in this video i will explain three different cases so first one is series connection and second one is parallel connection and third one is combination combination of series and parallel connections okay so in this video i will explain these three so how to calculate r equivalent in series connection and how to calculate r equivalent in parallel connection and after how to calculate r equivalent in combination of series and parallel connections so this third one is uh, very very important so you will get a long answer question from this case you will get a long answer question from this third case okay so first i am starting with series connection first i am taking series connection okay series connection is nothing but uh, dissimilar ends are connected together in series connection a uh, dissimilar ends are connected together for example if i take a resistor resistor is a two terminal device this is first terminal and this is second terminal uh, i am taking one more resistor here first terminal and a second terminal okay so if dissimilar ends are connected together that means second terminal of the first resistor is connected to first terminal of the another resistor then that type of connection is called as a series connection okay so this is r1 and this is r2 resistor 2 okay so here dissimilar ends are second terminal of first resistor is connected to first terminal of second resistor so this is the series connection now these two resistors are connected in series okay like this i am connecting n number of resistors in series like this i am connecting n number of resistors in series so on n r n so now i want r equivalent equivalent resistors for this n number of resistors that means i want to replace that n number of resistors with one resistor one resistor this resistance value should be is equal to r equivalent r equivalent so what is the r equivalent here in series connection r equivalent is equal to just to take sum of n number of resistors so that means we can write r equivalent is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus so on rn okay so this is the r equivalent value this is the r equivalent value so if two resistors are connected in series if two resistors are connected in series then what is the r equivalent so just take r1 plus r2 okay if two resistors are connected in parallel sorry series if two resistors are connected in series then r equivalent is equal to r1 plus r2 so if three connected in series so then what happen r1 plus r2 plus r3 right so i am taking one simple example so if two resistors 5 ohm and 25 ohm connected in series so now i want r equivalent is equal to so therefore we can replace these two resistors with one resistor with that r equivalent so here r equivalent is equal to what happened so we have to add these two resistors so that is 5 plus 25 5 plus 25 that is equal to 30 ohm so therefore we can replace with a 30 ohm we can replace 5 ohm and 25 ohm both resistors uh, we can replace with 30 ohm resistors right so this is the series connection of the resistors this is the series connection of the resistors next i am taking parallel connection second one parallel connection parallel connection is nothing but in this similar ends are connected together okay let me consider uh, one example i am taking uh, resistors here so this is the first terminal of the resistor and this is the second terminal this is the resistance value is r1 so i am taking second resistor r2 first terminal and 
second terminal. In parallel connection, similar ends are connected together like this. One and one, two and two, connected like this. Okay. So like that, I am connecting n number of resistors. R three, so on. I am connecting n number of resistors in parallel. So this is R n. Okay. So now I want to replace this total circuit. I want to replace this total circuit with with one resistor. That is the equivalent resistor R equivalent. Okay. So now I want R equivalent value here. Okay. So in parallel connection, R equivalent we can write like this: one by one by R equivalent is equal to one by R one plus one by R two plus one by R three plus so on. 1 by R n. Okay, this is the R equivalent formula in parallel connection. This is the R equivalent formula in parallel connection. For this also we have proof, but here I am explaining directly formula. So just remember this. So in series connection, what happen? In series connection, R equivalent is equal to so just we have to add the resistors R1 plus R2 plus R3 so on R n. But in case of parallel connection, R equivalent will be Taken as one by R equivalent is equal to one by R one plus one by R two plus one by R three plus so on one by R. For example, if two resistors are connected in parallel, then what happen? One by R equivalent is equal to one by R one plus one by R two. Like this, we can write. Okay. So now I am taking one special condition. Mostly we will get two resistors are in parallel. Okay. In most of the problems, we will get two resistors are in parallel. So for that, I am going to derive a formula. Special condition I am taking. So mostly we will get this in simplification of circuits. So just I am taking two resistors, that two I am connecting in parallel. Okay. So one resistor is R one, and another resistor is R two. Now I want R equivalent for this. Okay, so just now we discussed R equivalent. We can write like this: one by R equivalent is equal to how many resistors connected in parallel here? Two. So therefore, write one by R one, one by R one plus one by R two. Only write till two because two only two connected in parallel, right? So now simplify this equation. So we can write one by R equivalent is equal to Take the LCM. So here, what is the LCM? R R one R two R one into R two. So coming to numerator, it will become R two plus R one. This is one by R equivalent is equal to. From this, I want R equivalent is equal to. From this, I want R equivalent is equal to. What happens if I write one by R equivalent? It means one R equivalent is equal to. Then it it will reverse. Okay. Therefore, we can write like this: R one R two by R one plus R two. Okay, R two plus R one and R one plus R two both are same. Okay, therefore, if two resistors are connected in parallel, if two resistors are connected in parallel, what is the formula for R equivalent? R equivalent is equal to R one R two by R one plus R two. So that means product of two resistors by sum of two resistors. If two resistors are connected in parallel, then R equivalent is equal to product of two resistors by sum of two resistors. Okay. So here I am taking one example for this. For example, if I take R one is equal to ten ohm and R two is equal to ten ohm. Now I want R equivalent for this. So directly we can take R equivalent is equal to product of two resistors ten into ten by sum of two resistors ten plus ten. What happens? Ten into ten is hundred and ten plus ten is twenty. So therefore it will become five ohm. Okay. So from this it is clear that if two Similar resistors. If two similar resistors are connected in parallel, if two similar resistors are connected in parallel, then R equivalent becomes half of the resistance value. Okay. So here ten ohm, ten ohm, both are connected in parallel. Then what is the equivalent for this half of this ten? Uh, what is the half of ten? Five. Okay, five. So for example, if I connect hundred ohm and hundred ohm in parallel, then what is the R equivalent? It will become fifty. So if thousand ohm, thousand ohm connected in parallel, then what is the R equivalent? Five hundred. So like this, we can directly uh, write the answer. Okay, if similar resistors are connected in parallel, 
if two similar okay not many only two if two similar resistors are connected in parallel then r equivalent becomes half of the resistance value so remember this this will help uh, uh, help us in uh, simplifying the circuits okay this is the special condition okay so remember this formula okay next i am taking uh, series and parallel combination combination of series and parallel connection okay combination of series and parallel connection let me consider one example on this so i am i'm taking simple uh, series and parallel combination circuit so one simple circuit i am taking r1 r2 r3 so i want r equivalent from here a b okay i want r equivalent from a and b terminal so remember this point while calculating the r equivalent so if we ask you to find r equivalent from one end then we need to write the equation from another end of the circuit okay so in this circuit we ask you to find r equivalent from left side of the circuit so therefore start equation from right side of the circuit okay start from this end okay so from this end consider two resistors so what are the resistors here r2 and r3 so these two resistors are connected in parallel so clearly we can see uh, these two are connected in parallel right so therefore r2 and r3 are in parallel so therefore if r2 parallel with r3 then we can write from the special condition product of two resistors by sum of two resistors sum of two resistors so that means we can replace we can replace these two resistors we can replace r2 and r3 with one equivalent resistor with one equivalent resistor having the value of r2 r3 by r2 plus r3 so now i am replacing that one okay now i am replacing in second steps i am simplifying this circuit r1 value is same so in, instead of these two resistors i am taking only one resistor equivalent resistor with the value with the value of r2 r3 by r2 plus r3 r2 r3 by r2 plus r3 so this value okay so now again i want r equivalent from this terminals a and b so now in simplified circuit we have only two resistors these two resistors are connected in series so therefore directly we can add that two resistors so therefore what happen r equivalent becomes r1 plus r2 r3 by r2 plus r3 so this is the r equivalent for given circuit this is the r equivalent for given circuit like this we can calculate r equivalent in series and parallel combination okay in next video lecture i will take some complex circuit for calculating series and parallel combination thank you